Hey everyone, this is Taylor with Custom Cloud, and I want to show a tool that I use very often called Salesforce Inspector. So this tool is a lifesaver for me. I think for any administrators or even developers, it's a very quick way to see all your background fields on your objects um, and be able to quickly navigate through basically the entire objects fields without having to go to the object manager and then um, into the fields and relationships, which is a kind of long process. So um, I'll show here, this is just a uh, developer account, but let's say I select this account and I go to details, you'll see all the information here, but we always know there's usually some background fields that you might be using, or maybe you just went to see them all. So this is the first feature of Salesforce Inspector which um, if you just Google Salesforce Inspector, it's a plugin. Um, I'm using it here on Google Chrome and it will show up as a small tab here on the right and it'll just pop out when you hover. So when I click that and then I can go to show all data. So this is uh, very helpful. You just click there from the record and it shows you all of the records information right here on one page, um, very easy to to see it, it also shows its relationships. So the thing about this as well is that you can make edits um, while you're here. So for instance, the billing country is blank and I can just click here and literally <laughs> fill it in. Um, just like that. You can also do this for pick lists, um, um, decimals, um, strings. Um, it doesn't matter any information that's on the on the record could be edited from here. So this is uh, one of my favorite uses of Salesforce Inspector. So I think arguably my other favorite way to use Salesforce Inspector is the export and import features. I use these um, at least every day, at least once a day. So you can quickly write a, uh, a SOQL query here and export data. So, just for example, and this is just the formatting for how you would write this query, but just an example, let's say select ID from account, and it'll kind of give you a suggested text with your objects and your fields. So then if I want to select more from there, I would say select ID, comma, um, let's say I want to see the billing country um and i want to see the name okay and then you just get rid of that last comma and so this is just the format you just put a comma and i'll go ahead and suggest the next things that you can include um so i'll add the active field as well get rid of that last comma I'll space that out and so after the from this is the object that it will pull from i could even add um conditions like uh, where created date, um, and I can sort by created date, I can type that in, but that's not what I'll do here. I'll say uh, where active uh, equals, and if you do the equals, it goes, it reads the field, and it says, okay, there's a no, yes, and a null there. So if there's a pick list with other values, I'll go ahead and read out the values, which makes it easy to click it. So I'll say, um, I wanna see active equals yes. So it's gonna pull this criteria from account where active equals yes, and I can just export that. So it just pulls the account, the IDs, the billing country, the, um, the name and active. And then I could also add additional criteria and say, and so I have where, and I can say, um, and we'll say billing billing country is not and then see it suggests null and knows where i'm going so i can say it's not null so you'll see that should technically only bring up these three so when i hit export again so there they are um so this is a big way that i use salesforce inspector is a very easy way to manipulate your data um, you can get very good at writing these queries pretty quickly. And if you can do that, it makes it a lot of uh, my favorite way to export data. Um, there's another 
use for this would be if you're manipulating data, you need to export very specific values, and then you can just copy it to Excel with one click and then paste it into another sheet. And then you can use VLOOKUPs and all that sort of stuff. And then when you're ready, you can do an import. So I'll quickly show what the import looks like. So data import. And so you, you can insert brand new records and it will assign IDs to them. Um, it's very quick to do that. Um, and just to show how this works, I'll actually grab that last, last export. I'm going to copy the Excel format. And then I'm going to just uh, show the import works. So you go to the object that you want, and then you can insert, update, upsert, or delete. Um, so let's say I wanted to, um, I just have this small list here, and I'll paste that. So um, it's inserting. So on an insert, you won't be inserting an ID. That's why it's giving me this red here saying, what's that? It's because it doesn't need this, um, the ID field would already be mapped. Um, or would it already be mapped in this case? So you see if I change it to update, then it's okay because now it knows, okay, ID, it knows what you're talking about now. Um, so if I were to put this in a separate sheet and I want to make a mass edit or do V lookups, I can do that, copy the Excel and then paste it back in here. And then when I import, it will update. So these no data has changed. So I can just import just like that. And it would just tell me succeeded. Um, if there were some errors, it would say errors and show the errors here. Um, so this is Salesforce the Inspector. Um, it's just one of my favorite um, tools to use. And um, I think it's probably the best friend for any Salesforce administrator. So it helps me do my job a lot faster and I hope it can help you out as well. Um, so if you are looking for more tips on Salesforce administrator, Salesforce administrator or um, developer, you can look at my website at customcloud.dev and um, there I make all kinds of videos about tools that may help you or just topics that I use on a daily basis that may make um, Salesforce easier for you. Thank you.